The Yarrabah Band Festival really puts Yarrabah on the map. Um, it's so close to Cairns, there's such a rich and diverse culture here that it's a really great way to celebrate and acknowledge um, all the great things that are happening in Yarrabah. The far north Queensland area or the region also uh, looks forward to the Yarrabah Band Festival because it, it is a festival that uh, unites us uh, through music and art and um, it's a vehicle for reconciliation. Music uh, is a very big part of culture in general. You know, it's a part of the way story and knowledge is documented and passed on from generation to generation. Our, in our culture, in our history, um, you know, we never documented anything um, with writing. It was all um, oral. Um, oral presentation passing with stories and movement in dance. And this is how you learn and teach um, the next generation about not only the culture, but their responsibilities. Everything that I, I learned growing up was done through song and dance uh, and language. And that's, that's, it's very important to have, have um, that present. When people come to Yarraba for this festival, they can expect to meet the locals. They can also expect to come and find that we're not as bad as people think we are. <laughs> We've gone from being in a you know, little park to now the football grounds. So that says a lot. When you are an emerging artist or an artist that um, hasn't had national exposure, to have the opportunity to share the stage with some of the most um, well-known artists in Australia, household names, really is a unique experience. And that's why it's so important that we continue to sponsor and partner um, with the Yarrabah community to make this uh, event larger each and every year. Um, already we saw it start with around 500 people. It's now up to 5,000 people coming. And my prediction is that over the next five years it'll get even bigger and even better. I think that music really brings out that ingenious thinking. It allows those kids to really portray who they really want to be and they might have some aspirations and it just gives them so much self-confidence. What I've noticed is that the drive for the community to have events like this, um, the arts, uh, the presentations, the music that they have, there's so much young musicians that I, I know their music outside, I just didn't know they came from Yarraba. Uh, and finding out th this is their hometown. It's very important when you got a community of so much talents that you have an environment to nurture that. Uh, and I guess from what I know of the, um, the Yarraba Band Festival, the whole time the event has existed is that um, it, it's, it's a, pl a space where, you know, emerging artists and also um, performing artists who have been in the industry can come and they just, you know, give the gift of creative entertainment. And, and like this is a prime example of what should happen in these communities who don't have the opportunity to experience events like this. This is my second year in Yarraba and it's really good seeing some familiar faces and lots of new ones and I guess I'm not, you know, a new face as well so it's nice coming back and being able to do some more music with them. Uh, we had one song that we worked on last year, this year we've got three songs which is just amazing, such a cool result. It's so cool working with these kids because they have no filter, there's no sensor, so they're just, once you get them talking they're so free, they know exactly what they like, exactly what they want to talk about and when they're in the moment they're just so in the moment. So seeing that and seeing the progression from having nothing to a finished song created is just such a cool experience. This is one of the most you know, major events for Yarraba and I think you know, um, it really is an opportunity sh to showcase all of the talent, not just in music but also in art and culture and as well as food. So it really is a, a major injection to the local economy here uh, and one of the major highlights of the year. Not only is it a social event on our calendar but it also creates some economic wealth with the support of uh, the state government and the Queensland Music Festival. It's really taken off so we really appreciate that um, you know, this event happening every year. What I would like to see with um, something like the Yarraba Band Festival is that it could grow into something of a, a pinnacle event within you know Queensland, far north Queensland where it's, it's a place where you know many high-end artists uh, you know, the ones that's been in the industry, uh, put it in the calendar and that's the place they got to be. You can't get any better than visiting uh, Paradise Bar to see and complementing that with the Yarraba Band Festival. Did the sound check yesterday and just standing on stage looking up at the, at the, at the mountains with the clouds hanging down, it's just, just beautiful. It's just great to play in this beautiful setting. This year has been amazing watching the local artists just really have a great sense of pride and singing their songs of their country and then after them's like Paul Kelly, you know, and Mal Power. And if we didn't have this music festival here, I never would have been to Yarrabah and I would have missed out because Yarrabah is an incredible part of the world and I'm glad that music can draw people here but also for the local mob, music is such an important 
tool to tell stories, to instill pride and to just, yeah, to sing the Gunganji songs and share it with the world. It's not just about music, it's about sharing culture. Um, and like I said, sharing, you know, this hometown here, Yarraba, and showing people outside that, you know, you can come over the range, you know, we're, we're friendly people, we're not going to bite you, you know, have fun, join us, celebrate.